What is the up, my fellas and my fajitas? My name is Classified, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 5 here playing some Minecraft. And today, the mod pack updated, and they removed, um, cyclic. So, um, actually, I think they removed it in the last update, and I missed it. But, because I, I took a little, about a week break from playing, because I wanted to give it some time to update. And, yeah, our little things are gone. Our little, our little, uh, what you call it, uh, tanks. So, we're going to have to come up with some different tanks. And I'll probably what I'll end up doing is just go with the um, ender tanks. Because they are way better, because you could have one ender tank here sucking in all this sludge and another tank here spitting it out into the machine or into a bigger tank somewhere so yeah that's that's probably what we're gonna work on but today what I want to do is I got an awesome comment and I want to see if this is true so I was told the cardboard box for mechanism you can um, you can actually pick up uh, hold on we're gonna have to like make something to make the sawdust yes we need a sawmill hmm we may not get into this then oh no we're gonna have to get into mechanism so anyway i was told that you could take this cardboard box and you could actually pick up do i have oh i don't have that what is J opka J opka J up photo Jopka. All right, how do you make a block of wood sawdust that you get from mechanism? Okay. Um, is there no other way you can make it? I don't guess so. Anyway, um, yeah, I was told that you could actually take that cardboard box and pick up um, spawners. So, might be something we have to get into, but also the latest update of... Uh, all the mods five actually added in one of my favorite mods is uh, Woot. And if you never played with Woot, what it is, it is actually and it, man, this looks so much different than it used to. So I'm probably going to have to figure this out. But what this does, you create like let's see this layout guide. Um, do I have the things to make this? Oh, I do. Okay. So let's see. I, th I believe you would um, put this down. And then right click it. And it tells me that I need two of those, four of those. Um, hmm. Yeah, so if you right click it. What are those? Let's see here. Can we make those? I just, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm, I'm so curious. But anyway, what this does, this is like a, uh, it's like a multi-block that... Uh, it's a multi-block structure that you, it's a, it's a, it's a monster spawner, but no monsters actually get spawned. It's all done internally, which is awesome for, um, when you're playing on a, um, server. Let's see. I think this is it. Factory connector, secondary base, amber block. Let's see a primary base. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if you're playing on a server, it, it keeps the lag down, but let's, I'm going to look at this in a minute. First, something that I've been saying I'm going to do and I haven't done yet. So let's grab our ax hatchet, I guess it's called the hatchet, the diamond. No, 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 no diamond. Okay. What is it called? It's, um, it was, uh can we do hashtag diamond? It's made out of diamond. There we go. Uh, the tree capitator. No, that's not the one I want. This one right here, the bone splitter. I want to try to pull off the, um, if we can pull off the, um, what you call it? The sharpness 10, looting five, unbreaking three, and put it on here. That would be amazing if we had sharpness 10 on that sword. So uh, I think it's the death mod. What is the... Um, what is the mod? Uh, Coral, Coral Tombstone. Uh, what is the book? Here we go. The Book of Disenchantment. So I, in the last episode, oh, thank you. In the last episode, I actually um, put a couple more uh, tombstones over here. And what you're supposed to do is you see this little purple guy. Spit. 
there he is behind that tree. Um, you see these little purple guys spinning around here? So what you do is you put um, like this in your offhand. And then you right-click this, and it gives you back one of the enchants that is on the axe. Now, I don't know if uh, Sharpness 10 can be put into a book, so we're about to find out. What did we get? We got Sharpness 10. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do we have on here? Mending, looting 5, and breaking 3. So I would like to go ahead and um, get all of the enchantments off of it because... Um, yeah, so we, we that's why I set up four. So let's do that. Did that? Okay, that took the spirit or whatever that's called. And then, so we should have nothing on this axe now, just bone splitter. And now we should have sharpness 10, unbreaking three, looting five, and mending. OMG. So we don't really need mending, I don't believe, because the sword doesn't really seem to. Uh, uh, take any damage, so, uh, let's see, well, here's our anvil. Can, do we have enough to put, so, can we add sharpness to, oh, my gosh. So, uh, sharpness 3, 26, 1.6, 29, 1.6, so it didn't really, I mean, is that a lot better? Minecraft speaking? I don't really know. Uh, I kind of want to go try it first. Ah, you know what, screw it. Um, and then, we don't want to put mending, put looting five. <laughs> oh, gosh, we can't do it. We need 35 levels. Hmm. Uh, can we do unbreaking three? Okay, we don't need unbreaking or mending. We'll keep that, actually. Um, indestructible, punch, okay, so. We don't really have anything else. Oh, we could put, um, we could put it on our, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so, uh, okay, I, I'm getting excited now. Let's put these books up, and our graves should be um, spawning in some more of the little spirits. I don't really know what, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, Book of Disenchantment. Um, chance of beneficial from the target. No, well, hold on, hold on. No, no, this is what I want right here. Um, Right-click on a grave soul. Okay, yeah, so it is uh, spawning some more grave souls. It takes several nights. As you can tell right now, there are no um, grave souls right here. So it does take several nights. And we may build some more of these and just kind of build like a big uh, grave area. And um, that way, if we ever need to pull enchantments, which, you know, if we find better armor, we'd want to pull it. Oh, also, with Cichlet being removed, um, yeah, I believe, let me, yes, our, um, I don't remember where we put them, but... Our sound dampener muffler things are gone, so that is super loud, and this is super loud now. So uh, I think we put these right under the stairs. So yeah, they're gone. We're gonna have to find something else to um, put that. Can we put this back right, please? There we go. We're gonna have to find something else to uh, dampen that sound. Is there another sound dampener? Let's see here. Uh, sound, no, muffler, this is for modular routers, and muffling upgrade, reduces noise generated by machinery, so no, we don't need that. Alright, so let's get back into Woot, let's see, um, if we put that right there, right click it, so it says we need, uh, four of those, alright, so, um, we probably won't be able to get too far into this today, because oh, I really want to go try out the sword. <laughs> I really do. Um, guys, let's go try out the sword first. And uh, was there something that we had trouble killing on one shot? I don't believe there was. Um, but let's go over here and uh, let's take out. We don't want the dude with the banner. Let's take this guy. I was falling hole. <laughs> okay, that is just amazing. And... Um, Oh, crap. It didn't one-shot him. I was hoping it would start one-shotting people. Okay, so it is. I was just... I must not have... Uh, I must have swung too fast. I do have the uh, the faster, whatever it is, the five that you can... Um, oh, don't kill that guy. I don't want to get the uh, the bad omen. We got that guy on a pass through. Holy crap. I'm going kind of fast. All right. So, I, all right. So, we tried it out. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty, pretty cool if I say so myself. So, um, yeah, that's amazing. 
All right. Um, was there enchantments we had on our armor? Let's see. Uh, armor. We had diamond. So we had pre protection five, mending, unbreaking five, respiration three. So I would like to get all of that on our new helmet. Um, we had magic protection, chilling rebuke, projectile protection. And I think we got the feather falling on our new ones. Okay. So we'll, we'll come back to that helmet and uh, whenever we get the um, some more of the grave spirits. That way we can uh, pull those off. So <clears throat> let's see here. Woot. Let's get back into Woot. So now that we tried out the sword. Um, this is, and like I said, this is so different than it used to be. I do know we have to create uh, shards. And I know you got to hit it and you got to get an anvil. I just Everything's got different, um, what you call it. I wish I would have played around with this a little. But I, I, I don't know. I kind of like looking at it with you guys. And, and Oh, the Woot guide. Here we go. I knew there was a book. I just couldn't find it. So let's open it up. <clears throat> a guide to the big bad magic multi-block mob factory. Like, like Marmite. You will either love it or hate it. You choose. 35 or 35 unlocked. Okay, so we got to unlock it as we go. What is the mod for? Okay, I want all the mod drops. Okay. Credits. Um, capturing mobs. A mob shard is used to capture a mob... Uh, to use in the factory, first you must create the item mob shard, and then attack a mob to program that shard. Yeah, so basically you create this item, and you go whack a mob with it. You hit him with it. Uh, I think you, I don't think you gotta kill him with it. When the kill count, let's see, you must, oh wait, hold on. It's a, if I would read, it'd probably tell me. With the shard in your inventory, you must kill a certain number of that mob. When the kill count is reached, the shard will be programmed. Okay, so this is so different. I, I kind of like this better because I actually used to, you could take one of these and go whack the wither <laughs> or the ender dragon and have unlimited uh, in, uh, nether stars and stuff. So now that you got to create, uh, kill a bunch of them, that's actually pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. The factory comes in various tiers. The higher tiers support higher level. Okay. Every factory requires the following. A heart, a base, a cornatus cell, an ingredient importer, and a loot exporter. Okay, Stygian iron and the anvil, basic resources and crafting. So that's the um, anvil. It doesn't look like you need the anvil because it looks like you can just, um, yeah, you can just create the hammer and do it in your inventory or in the uh, crafting thing. Was this add a bookmark? No, we don't want to do that. All right, so cool, 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 cool. So we saw the basics. Perks: How to make your factory better. Feeding frenzy. Uh, ram, what, let's don't get into that. Let's just try to build one. Machines, factory components. So machines, die liquefier, enchant liquefier. Then she takes enchanted iron, book swords. Hold up. I didn't see from inside. Liquid enchant can be extracted from inside. The enchant liquefier will automatically output to an adjacent. So you could put enchanted items in there and it extracts the enchantments from them and creates liquid enchant fluid. Huh. Injects it injects fluid into items and be used to, with the pure dye to create dye plates. Okay. Are we gonna have to build all this crap? Man, this is gonna take a while. Um factory components, tools, exotics. What are exotics? Oh, it's a work in progress. There what are exotics for? What are exotics for and where to get them? So we don't know. They haven't added that yet. Uh, we got the book, uh, tools, the intern. The intern is there to replace the tedious task, task of building the factory structures. Not only can it build, but also with no extra payment, validate the existing structure. The current mode can be cycled by left-clicking there. When in build mode, the intern will take the factory blocks from your inventory and place them in the world. The tier of factory depends on the mode that the intern is in. The tools should be placed on should be used on a pre-placed heart. Okay, so you place the heart down and you start whacking it with a sword. That's, yeah, and it, it builds it for you. The yaw hammer is too many. First is for crafting on the animal. Second is for use in vanilla crafting. The yaw hammer is never consumed when used in recipes. Okay. All right. So, factory. So, amaranth block. So, we're going to have to make plates. Looks like. Byzantium, Celadon, Cerulean, Cornetus. Uh, Exemptus factory connector, uh, ingredient importer, loot exporter, magister cap, mob controller, part slot, practicus, practicus, primary base, secondary base, theoricus, and emirate. So where's the heart? Um, is okay. So heart. 
can we craft this as a machine casing, which is Stygian iron plates, which is crafted from Stygian iron ingots and plate dye, which that's made from this, which that's made from this. <laughs> okay, we should be able to make those, but we do need to make the yaw hammer. Um, hold up. I don't think we can because we... Okay, we can make it right here. We've made six. Awesome. Let's craft these into uh, ingots. So, uh, let's craft the hammer. We do need a hammer. And we need four of... Oh, crap. We need the... Uh, plate die which is obsidian on a stygian anvil okay how do you make the stygian anvil um come on let's uh the anvil is three an anvil and obsidian so let's craft an anvil we need uh three blocks of iron one two three so we shouldn't be hurting on any resources as you know we do have the farm also um we, we won't get into it today, but immersive engineering was added, so we got the garden cloak clo clutches, whatever they're called. We got cloches, I think that's what it is. We got those, so we don't have to build the big massive farms. We could put one seed in there, and uh, yeah, we could do a butt ton of seeds. So, all right, uh, back to Woot. So Woot, I'm just excited about all these uh, new mods being added. All right, so let's see here. We need. Um, what was I doing? Heart, 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 heart. We're crafting the heart. We need a uh, plate die, which is the anvil. So we need to put the anvil down. Let's put the anvil right there. It looks like a good place for that anvil. Uh, oh, yeah. And then we get a piece of obsidian. Is that what it says? Yes, a piece of obsidian obsidian let's grab that we need our hammer hammer and then we'll place valid oh hold on and then we need a stone slab it said okay i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it don't worry so you put your base item then you put that you whack it anvil must be sitting on a magma block Luckily, I just grabbed some magma blocks out of that uh, dungeon we were in, so uh, we should be good to go. So let's mine this up, and we'll put us a magma block right there, and there we go. We have a die. I hope we ain't got to do that like every time we need to make one of those. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, let's see. Uh, heart, 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 heart. Let's make four. One... Oh, we're running out of... Okay, we're out of iron. What do we need? We need more netherrack. Never fear! <laughs> I have the garden. Okay, um... Let's see, can we get out a stack of that? And it's starting to rain, that is lovely. So, the layout guide, um... I don't know. We'll have to, uh, let's get the heart made first. Oh, you know what? This might catch everything. Will this catch everything on fire? You know what? It might. I just thought about that. So let's, uh, let's pick that up for now. We'll move it somewhere else. <laughs> it may catch everything on fire. And I, I don't want that to happen. So, um, heart, the, let's see. We should have plenty of this <clears throat> and we can make the heart. So one, two okay and then we can go here machine casing we should have plenty of heads there we go we have a heart so if we place the heart down what does the heart do can we put like a layout guide on the heart okay there we go it needs to go up a little oh and there's things underground oh oh so how high up does this bad boy need to be? And then... Is there things underground here? Or 
Or is this the, um, let's see, is this the, uh, okay, so it keeps, huh? How does this thing gotta be? Okay, let's take this thing outside. <laughs> let's, uh, wait a minute. These are blocks. I forgot to actually mine. Okay. Um, it's raining. Alright, let me sleep. And I cannot sleep. Never mind. <laughs> uh, everything's so noisy. I apologize. Let's see. Uh, let's, I guess, right over here somewhere. This tree. We don't need this tree right here. And we will, uh, let's see. I wonder how high up I need to uh, stack this thing. Let's see. Layout guide. Okay. So there we go. Um, now let's. Let's hold down escape and close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay, now that my stupidity has been resolved, um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, can we, oh, wow, that took a minute. Holy crap. How the... Okay, it disappeared. Never mind. And, um, if we hit the right click on the layout guide, why does this, like, I'm not, I'm totally not understanding what's going on here. Why does it keep going down? See, they... They changed the way these things look. They used to be like a flat with like pillars on each side. So I'm not 100% positive. Can we pull this spruce log out of here? Okay. I'm not 100% positive what's going on here. And we're lagging a little bit. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's put some lights up. Which my torch is actually, I have the uh, master torch or whatever it's called. It's supposed to keep mobs from spawning in this area, but it doesn't really work all the time. So, um, I haven't slept in a while, so we may get attacked by the, uh, the, the fellas that fly in the night. I don't remember their name. Okay, so I need to do some research on here because our book did not, what is uh, factory tears? Oh, there's uh, okay. Here, oh, here we go. Okay, so supports the following: one mob controller, one perk, one, two amaranth blocks, two factory connectors, and one extra block. Okay, so we need. I guess what we should do is just craft all this. Then craft the zelator. How high up does it go? I didn't realize we could. Holy crap. Four mobs, four perks. This tier is normally used for bosses such as Ender Dragon. Okay. It's the only tier that can use exotics. Well, we don't have exotics, though. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's just, you know what? This plan, it was a great plan. But, uh, let's, uh, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's craft... Um, everything it said. So we need a heart. We have a primary base. Let's see. Primary base, which is pink dye plates, magenta dye casing. Oh, we don't, we need a dye casing dye, which we need gunpowder and obsidian and our magma block. So let's see. Magma. <clears throat> We need uh, gunpowder, and we need obsidian. And then for the other, what was this? A pink dye plate. Oh no. Okay, pink dye. We gotta put it in an injection press. What the heck? With pure dye fluid? Hold up. Get to die casing. Pink. Oh, this is going to take a while. So we have to create the injection press. Injection press. Which, eh, it's not that hard. Let's, uh, let's craft one really quick. One, two, three, four. Meh. 
meh, meh, and meh. Okay, so does this take, um, does this take power? It does. So let's grab a, uh, point. Which I believe we should be able to make. Yeah, we can. So we need a block of redstone. We're going to figure this out. Maybe not today, but we will get this thing figured out. So let's put it on our power. There we go. You should have plenty of power now. Okay. So we should... Um, this, this, this. Let's put our magma block there. This, this, and then where's our hammer? All right, yah hammer. Give me my yah hammer. And then let's pull this magma block back out of there. And then, now, we are making so much progress. Okay, primary. Um, give me this. Oh, wait, we already got that. So I need, not that. I need this. Give me... I have magenta dye, don't I? That right here. So we should be able to make that with this, which is why I say get that dye thing rolling, get that dye seed rolling as quick as you can because they are so worth it. All right, and now we need to make some pink dye, which is that. Um, <clears throat> and then we should be able to make that. Um, now... How do we get pure dye fluid in a dye liquefier? Imagine that! Oh my, it's like a, um, it's like I'm going down the rabbit hole here. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make this. <laughs> we should be able to craft this and machine casing, throw that in there, and this. Okay, and let me guess, it takes power too. It does. So let's put that there. <clears throat> I'm not sure why you have to remove the point. Every time I log out, log back in, I have to come around and put all my points back on. So except for like the ones on the refined storage, it never goes away. So I'm not sure, but like other machines, they do. All right. <clears throat> now, let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, primary. We're still trying. You, you got to think though. I'm still trying to make the primary base here so we need to throw dye so we just throw a bunch of dye over in there is that right so um if i throw all this magenta dye over in there is it gonna make liquid it will okay i don't know where it's going oh you gotta fill up everything Okay, so I need some yellow in there. Do I have yellow dye? I do not. So let's craft some. Um, yellow dye. And then we should be able to pull. So it's like... Am I, is, am I seeing this right? Like, maybe when I get all colors in there. Okay, so no yellow. It's coming out of yellow dye. Really? Oh, it deleted everything. Hold up. Hold up, swallow up. So, yellow, red. Okay, so yellow and red's going in there. But if I add magenta, does it delete? It doesn't. I'm not 100% sure why it did that. Okay, red. 18 millibuckets. It says yellow. Should make it. Does it just take a while? Or do we need to add water? Maybe? Um. Hmm. Dye a liquefier. Does it say? Alright, let's pull out our handy dandy notebook. Can we go back and. 
machines. Dye liquefier. The dye that takes dye items or items that can create dye and converts them into red, yellow, blue, and yellow. white fluids. Either they can combine into pure dye, which can be created. Items can be asserted. Pure dye can be extracted. The dye will automatically output to any adjacent fluid handler. Okay. Oh, so you can like... Oh, that's cool. If you got the book in your hand, you can sneak, right-click, and it'll show you this in the... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. So, neat, neat. Alright. Um... We are putting dye in there, but we are not getting any dye out. I'm not 100% sure. Do we have a bucket? Oh, wait, hold up. So it's making it. It's just not showing us. Is it bugged? It must be bugged, because I, I got a bucket of dye now. And I should be able to. Um, put this in there and remove that. Oh, put it back. Hold on. Okay. So now, is this not working? I don't know, but those cows are about to get on my nerves. Okay, so it's in there. It's just must be bugged because it's not showing there's any. Okay. Oh, it's crafting it right there. I see. I see. So as I put the yellow in there, it's crafting dialect. Okay. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I just, it's, it must be bugged because, um, yeah. Cause it's not showing anything so now we should be able to make the primary base oh <sighs> this is taking a lot longer than i thought it would so we may have to continue this in the next episode so um yeah because we are rolling up on 30 minutes here and we need to really wrap this one up i'll tell you what guys next episode uh i Try not to make it as long as this episode took to come out but next episode let's let's finish up woot because um, I think we're going to be able to have a lot of fun with this and I would like to do some research before we get into it because I just noticed they added it and I wanted to look at it with you guys and if I mean it's just it's it's so different than it used to so let me do some research and uh, we'll look at it next episode together and uh, I'll by then I'll have machines made because as you know you, you've seen how to make everything so anything that's different to make i will definitely hold off and wait on you guys but anyway guys that's gonna be it for this episode hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new comment below let me know how you're enjoying the series and any mod you would like for me to check out i'd really love to check it out for you but uh yeah guys join the discord and we'll see you in the next one